today's video it is a very much anticipated nursery tour I have been working on this room for the last few weeks I think I'm pretty much done I have everything that I think I need that I remember that I needed it's been a very very long time since we've had a baby in this house but I did want to show you guys what we've done if you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you're ever seeing I'm Tammy welcome I hope you guys stick around to follow along with this fun adventure I am currently 30 weeks pregnant so I'm finding it hard to breathe so if I'm panting in this video please just excuse that um, I'm trying to get everything organized now before baby comes home I have never been past 32 weeks pregnant I've had a prem baby and a stillborn baby so I'm hoping this will be our first full-term baby that we get to bring home um, but yeah I'm really really excited about this video this nursery I feel like I've done on a bit of a budget I know everybody's budget is different I want to say all up I think I spent around $1,100 just to be fairly transparent if you are looking to set up a nursery and you're using this video as a bit of a guide as to what you can get I did thrift some things I've got things on sale and I did pay full price for some things as well so I think I did really well considering um, I know a lot of people spend that just on a cot and then some people think that is crazy and would spend half of that so this is just what we did I think I did it really well on a budget I am so in love with the room Sam loves the room I'm pretty sure he wants to change rooms with the baby um, or sleep in here with the baby either or I'm sure he'll be happy but for now I'm just gonna stop blabbering because otherwise I will talk to you guys all day and you'll never get to see the nursery so welcome to our nursery okay so when you first walk into the nursery this is what you'll see so I have some pictures on the wall we have some bookshelves and a little I don't even know what you'd call that, a coat rack. We have some shelving and a chair and that, which I will explain to you in just a second. It was definitely a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, we have a little station over there for things that I will need and then the cot and the tree and the light. So this is just a little overview of what you guys would see if you walked into our nursery. I am absolutely obsessed with this room. These are not my children, <laughs> just so you're aware obviously um, these frames I've had for quite a while um, I honestly couldn't tell you how much they were I bought them when I was pregnant with baby Jackson so these have been um, put away for quite some time and we have the exact same frames in Samuel's room from when he was a baby so I can't wait to fill these up and put our own handprints on and I can't wait to have all five of our handprints on here so if you are not familiar with our story, baby Jackson had hypoplastic left heart. We gave birth to him at 21 weeks pregnant and I have some little casts of his hands and I'm going to be putting him in that too. So that we're all part of it as a big family. Um, I just think that'll be super special for the baby moving forward. This is actually a really special piece to us just because when I was in my early stages of pregnancy, I lay by it and that was a huge commitment for me given all of the miscarriages that we've had um, with the full intention of picking it up once we got the all clear that baby's heart was fine. And so at 16 weeks when we got that ultrasound, I literally bawled my eyes out for the longest time. Baby's heart had four chambers. It was pumping blood evenly in and out and I was just... It was the greatest day and that was the day that we got our cot so um, it has a lot of special memories for me already but I just wanted to share that with you the bumpers are from big W that was the cheapest place I could find them they are the air wrap bumpers with Sam I had the full padded bumpers but I have since learnt that they're not the safest so this time around we went for the air wrap and I'm really happy with them the quality is really good I like the fact that you can wash them and they velcro on and off instead of tie because the ties on the old ones never stayed up so I really like them so far so good they haven't moved in saying that we don't have a baby in there yet so I will give you a full review on what I think of them once baby comes home but they are their air wrap 
bumpers i think that's what they're called everything that i'm going to show you is going to be linked down below or listed down below so you can go and check it out for yourself as well this little muslin blanket the green one came from kmart and our sheets were very kindly gifted to us by snuggle honey kids if you didn't watch that vlog i will have it up in the cards up above they are a baby store that sells a lot of little blankets and bibs and sheets and bassinet sheets I love these so much. This is the Enchanted range, in case you're looking at getting some for yourself. The quality is amazing, you guys. You won't be disappointed. They're a jersey sheet. I love them so much that I actually went back and ordered a stack more stuff from them, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, but yeah, the Enchanted range, if that is what you're looking for. In the corner here, I just have a little dummy or pacifier chain if you guys have been following our channel for a while you'd know sam has a little monkey that he sleeps with every night and takes everywhere with him we call him bear when i saw this at baby bunting i could not refuse it's like a little mini bear and sam is just as obsessed with this one as he is his own and then this little toy is actually something that sam picked out for one of the babies that we miscarried and I figured we could just give that to this baby as well. Um, it's just a leapfrog toy. Sam's really excited to give that to the baby. So we'll probably get Sam to give this to the baby when the baby comes home. And we'll get a present for the baby to give to Sam as well. Uh, baby monitors are all the Uniden brand baby monitors. We have the same one in Sam's room. And I have one above our bassinet as well. It all goes to one monitor in our bedroom. I like this monitor. <laughs> I can't say that I love it. Um, there are some things about it that I don't like. And I don't know if this is something that all baby monitors do. So if you can fill me in, that would be great. Um, it has a ring of red lights in where the camera part is. And Sam sometimes gets scared by it because obviously a round circle of little red lights is not the greatest thing in the dark. He's had it since birth. It's worked really well for us. Um, we have, like I said, the three cameras to go with it so I can put a camera at some point, maybe out in the family room, just so I can keep an eye on the kids if I'm doing something. Um, we don't have it linked to the Wi-Fi or anything. It's literally just in our room. And we've never had any problems with it. So if you're looking for a baby monitor, it's not bad. It's just that it's not the greatest. <laughs> There's probably better ones out there on the market. Um, but yeah. Um, mobile up here is actually from Marketplace, so I can't tell you where it came from. This, by no means, is a gender reveal, by the way. I actually didn't realize that the balls were blue. I thought they were gray for the longest time until I actually looked at it, but they are definitely a blue color. Um, it's totally fine. If it is a girl, I can add some pink to it. That's fine. I actually bought it because it matches our pendant light up here, which, again, is another Marketplace find. I'd actually been eyeing off this light for the longest time. I managed to pick it up for $50 off of Marketplace, so I was incredibly happy with that. Um, I believe Beacon Lighting sell them. I can't remember exactly how much they are. I think they're around the $110 to $120 mark for full price. They are amazing. <laughs> if you're looking for a really, really cute nursery light, they are very cute. You can actually extend it down even further, so if you want it longer, it can be longer. We just like that height because we're not going to bump our heads and things on it. Um, and the best thing about it is it literally just clicks over the top of your current light fitting. So you don't need an electrician to install it. So that saved us a stack of money. In the corner, we just have this tree right here. Um, if you guys have been with us for a while, this is the tree that I stole from Sam's room. And let me just say, he was not happy about it. I honestly don't blame him. This is the most beautiful tree. This is from Ikea. Again, this was a marketplace find. I paid $40 for that off of marketplace. Probably like eight months ago, a little bit longer. I don't know if I had it before we moved in. I think I bought it before we moved in. Maybe, I can't remember. But um, Ikea don't make this particular tree anymore and I tried for the longest time to buy a second one for Sam's room. I did, however, manage to find him one off of Marketplace that's the new model, but they just, they're not as good as this one. And the basket is from Kmart. We have the exact same one in our room. You guys will see that when I show you our bedroom makeover, which will be coming out possibly next week if I can keep this momentum up with videos. Um, and then you guys will get to see where baby is sleeping as well. So I really like the way this came out. It's just super simple. I love the tree, the greys, the greens. 
the timber and the white. I think it all just goes really well together. Like I said, this is a gender neutral nursery. I feel like the colors are very plain. There's not really, well, I guess there is some blue in the mobile, but um, if it's a girl, I could add some floral to it quite easily. And if it's a boy, more green, I don't know. <laughs> in this corner, we have some cute little shelves put up here. Um, these shelves are from Ikea. I can't remember what they're called, but they are just the picture shelf, picture rail. I'm not entirely sure. We have the shorter ones above the chair. We also have the longer ones for the bookshelves. Again, I haven't filled the frames yet because baby isn't here. I did get the little rain money box, cloud, rain cloud money box from Kmart. It was a discontinued item forever ago. I think again, it was one of those things that I picked up before we miscarried a baby in the hopes of bringing one home. Um, so I can't tell you how long ago I got it. Likewise, the I feel cheeky or I feel or I am or my feelings blocks. They were discontinued maybe a year ago. I can't remember. They're really cute. Um, I wish that they would bring them back. The week blocks, which I intend to use for photos for the baby, they are from Kmart if you're looking for them. The plants were from Target at some point. Again, another pear head uh, picture frame that matches the ones that Sam has in his room and then a couple more frames. So that frame there, I intend to put babies coming home from the hospital outfit in. I've done the exact same thing for Samuel. And then just a family picture. And then this one here will probably be a picture of the baby once it's born. So that is how that came together. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks super cute. Underneath that, we have the rocking chair. This is the Aldi rocking chair. Again, an affordable piece of furniture. It was $199. Um, I did run and grab that. We've had this for quite a while now. Part of me wishes I waited because now they are discounting them down to about $150. And you can find them on Marketplace as well, quite cheap. So this is just the Aldi one. Obviously, I could have gone for a more expensive one, but this is very cute. Uh, my nappy bag is from Skip Hop. Again, I got this off of Marketplace and I paid $20, I think, for it. And I put it through the washing machine and disinfected it and cleaned it. And now it is full, ready to go to the hospital for the baby. And then this blanket is something that I had from Sam. It is by the brand, I think, Lolly Living or Living Textiles. Let me have a look here. So this is just from the brand Living Textiles Baby and I just, I really like it. I think it's a cute print. I've had that since Sam was a baby as well. So then there is this monstrosity. Now, let me just say, I bought this off of eBay because I wanted a footrest that was big enough for Sam to sit on, or for Matt to sit on, for the family to come and join us while I'm breastfeeding baby or while I'm hugging baby or cuddling baby. Or if Sam was to sit on the nursing chair and rock baby, I wanted to have a place to sit and be close. Um, I didn't think it was going to be quite as big as what it was. If I can find it, I'll have it linked down below. I will tell you it took two bags of the bean bag beans to fill. Um... But yeah, it is quite giant. So beware if you are looking to buy one. It does take up a lot of floor space. I thought it would be a lot smaller than what it was. But um, it turned out okay. I think it turned out okay. And then the blankets that are on it, one of them is an electric throw rug. So if you guys have been following us for a while, I've raved about these so many times before. You can buy them of many different places. We get ours generally from Kmart at the start of the winter season. They plug into the power, you turn them on just like an electric blanket that you would have on your bed, but they are a soft throw rug. We actually have six of them in our house, you guys. So we have one in the office where I edit, uh, one on Sam's bed, one on our bed, one on each couch, and then one here. So they're the best. They are the most affordable way of staying warm in winter. I cannot recommend them enough if you are on a budget and you don't want to run the heater all the time. They keep you super, super warm and you can wash them in the machine as well, just so you know. So that is that. And then the little white blanket that's on top there, again, is another blanket from when Sam was a baby. So that is that explained. Like I said, very, very large. Um, 
Hopefully it works. Beside my nursing chair, I actually have this little table set up. This is from Kmart, in case you're wondering. It was $20. I actually liked this. I was going to get a bedside table, but I liked this because it was so open and just simple. And also it matched these shelves perfectly. So if you have these in your kids' rooms for bookshelves or display shelves, this will match absolutely perfectly with it. Um, on here, I just have a little caddy with all the things that I'm going to need when baby comes home. So the caddy itself came from Kmart. I think this was $15 from memory. I also have another one in my bedroom, which I'll show you in another video when I do that reveal. Um, in it, I've just got a bunch of stuff, like I said before, that I thought that I might need when a baby first comes home for breastfeeding and things like that. The first thing that I put in there was this thermometer. So this is the Fever Insight Thermometer by Vix. If I can get that out in one second, it has a reading in as fast as eight seconds which i thought was pretty good given that it's not the digital one um it's supposed to be much more accurate than the digital ones and the thing that i liked most about it is the traffic light if baby's temperature is fine it's green if it's borderline it's yellow and if it's not in the right like if it's high or too low or whatever it will go red so in the middle of the night if you're checking if baby has a temperature it's pretty easy to read we also have this little book. So again, this is something from Sam's childhood baby years. He knows how to read this book exactly. Obviously, it's a pretty easy one. Um, but he has insisted on having this one next to the baby's chair so that he can sit down and read baby books, which I think is the most adorable thing in the world. I also have some tissues in there. I have one of these breast pumps. I don't know if I've mentioned that I bought this to you guys, but I really wanted to try out the Hucka and it was i feel really expensive for what it is this was half the price i believe this was like 16 or 17 dollars it is just a manual breast pump but it also just catches your letdown so you just i guess suck it on there or something i don't know um and it just catches your letdown i don't know if i'm going to use it which is why i didn't want to buy the full hucker brand one um but I thought I'll give it a go. So once baby comes home, if I use it and I like it, I'll let you guys know. The other thing that I have in here is my Medela breast pump. Again, this is another thing that I had from Sam. I have brand new tubing that I ordered just to make sure that was new. And they've actually come out with a new cup, which I'm gonna buy as well, that has silicon around the outside, which is a bit more comfortable. So I believe they're like $27. Definitely check them out if you've got a Medela pump that's a little bit older, or if you've bought a secondhand one, you can get the disposable parts. Well, disposable, I guess they're not really disposable because they're expensive. You can get interchangeable parts like your tubing and stuff like that brand new so that for the most part, it's new if you're worried about germs and stuff. I also just have this little plant. This came from Big W. I thought that was super cute. And this lamp I actually got off of Marketplace. I got three of them for $20. Sam has two in his bedroom and baby has one here. So just a simple lamp. I do have an Edison globe in it because at night time you just want a soft yellow glow rather than the full white harsh light. Um, but that is pretty much my little station setup. Obviously once baby comes there'll be some snacks and breast pads i'm pretty sure there's breast pads in here actually i'm not entirely sure but um all the things that i'll need will go in there and it's just kept in a nice tidy little space again like i said the bookshelves were from ikea they are just the picture rails i believe these ones are about 14.99 each from memory i'll have them linked down below the little ones up there i believe were maybe 5.99 or 6.99 very very inexpensive but um we do love these for bookshelves we have them in sam's room as well the little fox is from Kmart, i believe they might still have them in stock if i can find it i'll have it linked down below most of the books are books from when Sam was a baby, except for this one, which was kindly gifted to us by some great friends for this baby. So I'm very excited to read to the little baby. I can't wait and I can't wait for Sam to join in on it. I think it's going to be super fun up here. This is just from Kmart. They do sell a smaller option if you're looking for a smaller option. I am waiting for them to come back in stock so I can put one in Sam's room because he wants one really, really badly. Uh, this one here was $19. So again, really inexpensive. That is probably the only thing in the room that is not screwed to the wall. I have it hung on command hooks, so I hope that it stays. 
so far it hasn't budged and then over here we have babies coming home from their out coming home from the outfit coming home from the hospital outfit i I'm so excited about this, you guys. So the little romper is, again, just from Kmart. This was part of a three-pack. To be honest, I feel like they've probably sold out of this now. I got this a couple of months ago, um, and I haven't seen it in stock. So this is a Kmart romper. Snuggle Honey Kids, like I said before, they sent us a package. I showed that a few vlogs ago. Um, they sent us a headband, a beanie. So if it's a boy or a girl, um, if it's a girl, she'll wear the headband home. If it's a boy, he'll wear the beanie home and then the most beautiful little jersey wrap again snuggle honey kids it is in the same print as our cot sheets which is their enchanted range and i love it it is the cutest print boy or girl it honestly doesn't matter it is the softest softest material i just think it's so cute and i can't wait to wrap baby up and bring it home in this cute little outfit. I'm so excited. Now that I've shown you guys, I can put it back in its bag. I've shared this before on my channel. This is the most amazing nappy bin. Before I rave about it too much though, I will say Sam worked it out in about three seconds. So maybe not so amazing for the older kids, but for the little kids, this has some really great features. So I wanted to share that with you. So this is the Corbell brand. It is just, like I said, a nappy bin. Um, the thing that I loved most about it was eventually kids learn how to get into things. This one here has a lock, so they can't get into where the dirty nappies and things go. Um, so you can lock it and they can't get into it. Like I said, Sam watched that out in five seconds. He is almost five, so I probably should have expected that, just like when I put the pack and play out in the family room thinking that I could separate the children that Sam wouldn't get into it. Again, mum fail. I don't know what I'm doing with two kids. This is a whole new world for me. Um, but I did want to share that with you because I thought if you have two kids closer in age, um, it was a great way of keeping the older one and the younger one out of the mess. I also want to mention the rug on the floor is from Spotlight. If I can find it, I'll have it linked down below, but this is something that we've had for quite some time. Again, I believe I bought this when I was pregnant with baby Jackson. I could be wrong. Or maybe it was after we signed on to build the house. I can't remember, but it is from Spotlight. If you're looking for some affordable rugs that are super soft, Spotlight always have great deals, sometimes 40% off. I think this particular one, we paid something like $140 for, which I think is affordable. Again, what I think is affordable might not be affordable for you or might be very inexpensive. Um, so yeah, just each their own. <laughs> this is just what I think and how I've styled a nursery. Okay, and then in the closet, we have dun, 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 a change table. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen something like this set up. I thought it was a super good idea when I saw it. Um, it just saves having an extra piece of furniture cluttering a already quite small room. I just have a change pad. Again, this is from Snuggle Honey Kids in the Enchanted print. I love it so much. I think it's very sweet. Um, the change pad we already had from Samuel's old nursery. And then this dresser I picked up off of Marketplace. Again, this is just an Ikea dresser. We have the same one in Sam's closet, but with extra drawers. So this worked really well for us. Above the change table, I just have this garland hanging. This came with the mobile for $20. So I wasn't really sure what to do with it or where I wanted to hang it in the room. At the moment, it's just here to give something for baby to look at while I'm changing it snappy. Um, I'll possibly change it out at some point. I don't know. It's just, it's there for now. And then over here, I have just a clothes bag for dirty clothes. And I just have that hanging on a hanger in the corner there because I use that a lot when Sam was a baby. While I'm changing baby, I can just put the clothes in there and then literally zip it up and throw that in the wash to make things very easy for myself. On top of the change table, we just have a baby balloon. I'm actually saving this for a baby brunch that Matt and I are hosting for our friends. Um, it's not a baby shower or a baby sprinkle or anything like that. But given that we've been through quite a lot to get to this point, we did want to celebrate. This is the first gathering that we've had at our house. We haven't had a housewarming party yet. We've been here for 
nearly nine months um and it's not just for us either i feel like that is for sam as well um i'll talk to you guys about that a bit more in a vlog but i just have this sitting here to bring back out and use again for that we actually use that in my pregnancy announcement photos so if you head over to instagram and go back through my feed you guys will see the cutest cutest photos of sam telling the world that he's going to be a big brother again so in the drawers the top drawer i have this kind of set up i just have things breast pads um nappies wipes disposable nappy bags you guys you get these from aldi i did not know about this um these are the most amazing thing ever because you can literally just pull one out and i don't know i just think that's super convenient i have some disposable change pads because if baby has a blowout i will put one on top of there so that we don't uh destroy our beautiful cover um taylor the beautiful taylor gave me a baby book for baby and then we just have some extra things all of my pregnancy tests that i took um i don't know why i keep these it's kind of gross really because it's pee on a stick but i do keep them i think i've kept some of sam's as well um yeah like i said a bit gross and then more nappies at the back so this is just how i have this set up like i said i have no idea what i'm doing it's been five years this will probably all change but this is just what i have for right now down here we have baby's clothes all of these inserts by the way are from ikea so yeah everything is from ikea basically um we have some pants boy and girl pants um i don't know what the gender is going to be i just have a couple of things to get all my bases covered we have singlets uh little rompers which as the baby gets bigger will be hung up in the closet but for now they're too tiny to hang on the hangers so they're just here these are sam's beanies from when he was in hospital and sam's little sun hat which is filthy um something that i've noticed with a lot of sam's hand-me-down clothes is that after five years of them being in storage a lot of them have stains that i cannot get out so they've had to go um which means we don't have a lot of clothes i thought i had a lot of clothes for a boy but i don't a lot of Sam's baby stuff was gender neutral anyway because we didn't know his gender when he was born. But um, yeah, once baby's here, it'll just give me an excuse to go shopping. I'm sorry, Matt, um, to get some more clothes. But for now, we've got enough to get us through the first week or so. In here, we just have a bunch of socks. Again, these are all just Sam's little socks. I have a couple of just... I don't even know what you call these little blankets from when Sam was in the hospital. And then some bibs and then some shoes. Are these not the cutest shoes in the world? I don't even know where they came from. Sam didn't even get to wear these. I think they came in a bag of stuff that I got off of Marketplace for free. So, um, yep, just little shoes there. And then down here, I just have a car mirror. Um, this will have to go in Matt's car because my car won't take it. I actually have to find a mirror that my car will have in here. I just have a little headband. This is another one that Snuggle Honey Kids sent out in case it's a girl. And another change pad or bassinet cover. By the way, this here can either be a bassinet sheet or a change pad cover, which I think is amazing because I've never seen that before. So if you're looking for something that's more versatile like that, Snuggle Honey Kids. And then just here, we have a blanket that my grandma um, made for me. She has passed away. So if it's a girl, I would like to bring that out. If not, it'll probably just stay there until one day we might be blessed with a girl. And then in the bottom drawer, I just have a change pad. This is just one of those little pouches that you can take out and about with you. And then our Ergo baby carrier thing with the insert there. So... And then right up the very top, all of these tubs actually contain all of Sam's hand-me-down clothes. So there's a container there full of shoes and then tubs all the way across the top with everything that Sam has grown out of. And then just the baby monitor box over there as well. In this side of the closet, I have all of baby's clothes that currently has that is gender neutral. So over here we have our Moby Wrap again, Marketplace. I think I picked this up for... 20 or 25 dollars you guys and it is basically brand new it was only ever used a couple of times and it's in a really nice gray color so definitely check out marketplace if you are on a budget but you still want to have all of the great things and conveniences when sam was born i only had the ergo 
carrier and I found it really, really bulky. Plus, he was a very small baby. He was four pounds, four ounces, born at 32 weeks. So he didn't really fit into it for a really long time and he loved to be cuddled. So I figured this, no matter how big baby is, I can have the baby closer to me. I can still be doing stuff with Sam, um, cooking dinner, whatever I need to do um, while soothing the baby and just having those extra cuddles while having my hands free. So I'm really excited about that. That is something I definitely wanted when I had Sam, but I never, I never bought myself. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, anyway, we have 4030 and 20 clothes in here. And then we have some, what are these called? Love to Dream swaddles. Again, they're just Sam's swaddles from when he was a baby in a few different sizes. I have an ergo pouch swaddle and then you guys these are amazing so when baby gets a little bit bigger this is what baby will sleep in i cannot rate them enough sam slept in one until he was three and a half almost four to be honest these are the ergo pouches they can either be a sleeping bag or a little romper pantsuit and they are incredibly thick and warm so um highly recommend those and then the last thing I wanted to show you is Baby's toy box. So we actually got these off of Catch. Sam has the same one in his room. Again, pretty much all of these toys are Sam's when he was a baby, apart from these puzzles, which I found at Aldi a couple of weeks ago. I thought that was so cute, you guys. How adorable are these? So just little puzzles that Sam could help the baby do. Um, yeah, this was off of Catch. I believe it was $98-ish, just under $100. To me, it looks exactly like the ones they sell at Pottery Barn. It is a little bit smaller than the Pottery Barn ones, but I figured it was good value for money. And Sam has really liked being able to see what toys he has and be able to get to them a lot easier. We used to have his toys in a cube storage system with like the fabric baskets, and I found them really hard to keep clean. They would always get dusty and dirty and just really grotty. So that is very easy to clean and keep tidy. But yeah, that is our nursery. I hope you guys love it as much as what we do. I think it is the most peaceful, beautiful room. Sam really loves it. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any updates when baby's born, if baby's a boy or a girl. Um, next week I'm gonna be posting a video of where baby's gonna be sleeping in our room and our bedroom makeover because I also made over our room as well. So if you wanna see that, definitely keep following. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I am panting because oh, this is really hard, you guys, talking and vlogging and being pregnant is very hard. Um, and yeah, we will see you guys in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.